as we move on to the second last on the program. The seventh on the card is a class three. It's over the 1200 meters headed by Breeder Star. Run up course and distance last time out behind Jade at Theatre. Who else but you will probably roll forward from Barry One. Famous Warrior makes his debut on his last four races in Australia before moving. Golden Harvest a four time course and distance winner in the past. Triumphal Jewel a six time winner, but they've all been over the 1000 meters. Smart Boy runner up on his last two. Joe Moreira jumps on board Star of Joy from a wide gate and Spring Win up in class, but he's on a hat trick. Now, Smart Boy has come up with barrier 10. He potentially might roll forward. Who else but you? Should he step away? Clearly has the pace to lead this over the first 100, as that illustration suggests. Um, Star of Joy is another potential to roll forward. The newcomer, Famous Warriors, got a little bit of pace, but he does take a bit of time to build as well. So he might need 50 to 100 metres to sort of get up and going. Spring Win is in great form. He's won his last two and should box seat from his barrier. Breeder Star won a good race last time. He's he's been up for a while now. He's a, a very fit horse. He's only a little chap, and but he goes well. This will be his seventh run for the season. Uh, is Breeder Star just has to carry the 132 pounds at the top? Um, famous Warrior. I thought I'd highlight the first starter. He's not doing too much here, but he's ready to go. He's 1,207 pounds, so he's he's quite a decent size horse. He's had two trials to lead into this, and did win fresh up in Australia over 1,200. This is the distance here. Charity Glory, now he's very, been very consistent. He's only won one from 33 starts. He's another one you'd think would have won a few more than that. Mm. But he's had five seconds and six thirds, so he's one of those ones that catches the eye all the time. All right, OK. Looks like an neat way price at the moment. We're going to start off with uh, Smart Boy. He's been running up on his uh, last two, and Charity Glory f uh, fills a spot here as well. Who else but you? A little bit further back, but he might roll forward uh, Wednesday night. Yeah, he could do, and he probably needs to try that option because he's had sort of wide barriers three of his last four. Um, they might roll forward here and give him a closer sort of position in the early stages because he's hitting the line well, he's racing well, he just hasn't had a lot of luck with the gates. Um, who else but you might be on his mark but there is a claim there and he's going to you know, give them a sight. Yeah, that's the key I think is the claim because I, th I agree, I think he's on his, on his mark but with that little claim it brings, just brings him down those seven pounds and I think with that, uh, with that from barrier number one, he can, he, he, I'll put him in the numbers. Well, right. Saying. OK. Uh, Star of Joy, we're going back two starts uh, for him when he finished uh, third. This is behind Arm Runder. But again, that was from an inside gate. He's got barrier 12 here. Going to need some luck. Um, I've dropped off him a little bit from that wide barrier. Super Lead is going to want a strong tempo and Sunny Dragon as well. He's had a, a lame left foot issue, Sunny Dragon, in early to mid-January. Um, I'm just going to sit on the fence with the runners we've highlighted there for various reasons. Yeah, I've dropped off him as well. I've sort of been with Star of Joy a while because he always shows a lot in the morning. But, um, I mean, that's probably his best run here. He's, he's run a couple of thirds and that's about it. Right, OK. So he's on the watch list. Uh, Spring win. Um, he's won his last two with Neil Cowell in the saddle. Lightweight here. So Alexi Bedell takes over from a low gate as well. Barrier two. He's in good form, is he? He had some problems, this horse. Uh, he's over them now, obviously, because he is winning them in a row. He's won uh, two, two in a row. He is up in class, class four to class three. But look, I threw him in the numbers once again because they've been strong wins in that group. He's always had signs and shown signs of ability, as Paul mentioned. He's had a few issues, setbacks. Um, I think he's reaching his peak now, and he's uh, still likely to improve further, I would have thought. All right. Interesting run in the race, though, is Famous Warrior, trained by Michael Friedman, having his first Hong Kong start. His jockey, Zach Pert. Zach, Famous Warrior, has his first run on Wednesday night. You've ridden him in both these trials. What have you made of them? Yeah, his first trial was quite good. He was nice and sharp, nice and fresh. His second trial, he um, seemed to... Same as if you wanted a little bit more ground, but um, you know he's he's come here off uh, off a nice preparation um, at, at a distance. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit short for him. It's probably more of a 1400 metre miler, but with a good draw, hopefully he can lean in the right spot uh, with a bit of speed in the race. He should be able to give him his chance to close it off. So do you think he could be competitive first up in this? He's a nice enough horse. He's he's got a little bit of quality about him. Uh, so I'm, I'm hopeful that he can um, he can run well. And in those trials, they've both been at Happy Valley, so obviously no issues handling the track first time. No, he's um, he's a gem to ride. He's he's one of the quietest horses in Hong Kong. He just hacks around and, and and does everything nicely. So he's had no problem with Happy Valley. 
Looks a nice horse, over £1,200. That was I Victory was behind there at Happy Valley as well. He's by Husson, same sire as Nothing I Like More. And Jeff Lloyd won those four races on him in Australia before coming to Hong Kong. We know Jeff Lloyd here very well. If you go back a few years, he had a lot of success here in Hong Kong. No, he did. I, I like him. I think he's a, a really good chance, famous warrior. He did win 1,200 metres in Australia before uh, you know, the start of those four wins. He eventually will want a mile, but fresh, I think he can run OK 1,200. All right, Jeff Lloyd, the governor, they used to call him in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Can famous uh, warrior be the boss here, Paul? Let's hopefully he can, because I've got him on top there, Andrew. Our famous warrior. To beat who else but you, he should lead, and I do like the seven-pound claim on him. Smart boy's been very consistent, and spring win is another one. Five-pound, I should say, with Jack, not seven. Um, why have I written seven? Five pounds, and then um, smart boy, and then uh, spring win there, in there for fourth. Uh, he's been uh, racing very well this season. The QQPs, two, four, and nine would be the way to go, eh? Not on your own, Paul. I've got to make a little correction here to my <laughs> race book, too. I keep thinking it's seven, but it's only five now for, uh, for Mr. Wong. Um, 12, four, nine, two. Spring win, I think he's going really well and can handle the rising class. Famous Warriors are nice type. I just think 1200 Happy Valley's sharp. Might be a little sharp for him the first couple of hundred, but I think he'll hit the line well. Smart boy, who else but you? 12492, 4912 QQP for me in race seven. Yeah, I'm with uh, Famous Warrior as well. I think he can make a winning debut. Looks pretty smart. That was race number seven. One more to go then. Race number eight plus all the best bets. That's up next.